Hi, my name is Clarissa, and in this video, I'll be presenting and explaining my Rube Goldberg machine. Rube Goldberg machines are contraptions that are deliberately made to be overcomplicated to perform only a simple task or solve a small problem. In my Rube Goldberg machine, my objective is to turn on a MacBook charger by closing a MacBook that is connected to the charger. This task will be completed within 20 seconds. After this, I will explain my machine in detail by describing the step-by-step -step process of each section, types of simple machines used, and other important components in the following diagrams. I will also explain how mechanical advantage is achieved in my simple machines. Mechanical advantage is the ratio of the output force, or the force produced by the machine, to the input force, or the force applied to it. This is useful in creating simple machines where less effort is needed to produce a higher output force, like in levers or inclines. The machine is triggered by the closing of a MacBook lid, which is connected to a string on a pulley, the first type of simple machine. A pulley is a wheel with a grooved rim that can turn on an axle. Usually, a piece of string or wire is fitted through the rim. When the MacBook is shut, the string is pulled downwards on one side by the effort and in turn lifts a load via the pulley. The marble that is balanced on the load drops onto an inclined plane, the second type of simple machine, and rolls into a cup tied to another pulley. An inclined plane is a sloping surface that uses less force over distance to lift the object. The height of the incline is the input force and the length of the incline is the output force. The pulley lifts another cup using output force, which then pulls up and provides input force on one end of the third type of simple machine, a lever. A lever is a solid bar that rotates around a fixed point. In my machine, the load is above the fulcrum in the center. When effort is applied upwards to one end of the lever, the lever rotates around the fulcrum to form an inclined plane, so that the load rolls automatically downwards due to gravity. The load, or marble, rolls down the incline into a cylindrical tube, landing on the trigger of a small Nerf gun. The Nerf gun shoots a bullet into a piece of styrofoam that tips over, starting a chain reaction of Jenga blocks falling down, like that of dominoes. The last Jenga block has a tight string attached to it. This string is tied to a piece of cardboard that is holding a marble in place. As the last Jenga block falls, the tight string pulls the piece of cardboard downwards, therefore releasing the marble. The marble rolls down a series of inclined planes. This is an example of mechanical advantage. In an inclined plane, mechanical advantage is calculated by a formula the length of the incline over the height of the incline. In my machine, the labeled incline has a height of 10 cm and a length of 50 cm. Applying the formula I mentioned earlier, the length of 50 cm is divided by the height of 10 cm to produce a mechanical advantage of 5. Moving on, the marble hits a Jenga block located at the end of the last incline plane, knocking over the rest of the Jenga blocks in a row. The last Jenga block has a marble balanced on top, so when it falls, so does the marble. The marble rolls down another series of inclines with a PVC pipe connected to the last one. When it passes the PVC pipe, it pushes another marble into the pipe, which is positioned in an incline. The end of the pipe is connected directly to a switch, so when the falling marble hits it, the switch turns on, at the same time switching on the MacBook charger. The following clip is the full video of my machine. My group members were Shoma and Halkin. These are my works cited in MLA format. Thank you for listening.